Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to use this frequency table to make a different kind of different charts. The first graph we're going to look at is a pie graph. And this is easy to maneuver with Excel once we have everything in the frequency table. Now, you cannot use the what we call the raw data or the data that's already all examined. We want to use the frequency table to make a pie chart. So I'm going to highlight my frequency table. I'm going to go to insert pie. And I'm going to choose that very first option, just so your basic boring old pie chart. And it's going to pop up a pie chart. And you can see it's color coded the, the the blue ones, cats, that's the blue, the the blue piece of the pie, the dogs are the red piece, the birds are the green, and the other animals are the purple. So you can see the majority of animals that come to this vet are dogs. Now you can play with this and, and change titles if you want, just by clicking on the title and changing it just by highlighting it and typing in your new title. So I don't really like frequency for a title. Um, so I might say types of animals. You can also play with some data options. And you can have it change the colors of the borders, the colors the maybe you want it to be polka dots inside, or you can change the kind of the shadows. You can change all kinds of fun stuff with your um, pie chart. And you can see, you know, I, I did change... What did I change? Oh, I changed the style of the of the color. And you can change 3Ds. You can make all kinds of fun things. There are some preset colors up here just because people like to sometimes use different color options. And you can also tell it to add some data labels. And that tells you how many of each type of animal came in, which is nice because sometimes you want to... Um, know how many animals. Now, by clicking on those labels and then right-clicking, you have a couple other options. And you can say maybe you don't want the values or the number of animals that came in, but you want the percents. So I'm going to uncheck value and I'm just going to check percent. Now you want to make sure you have the same thing for each of them. So I'm going to go out. And make sure they're either all percents or they are all values. We don't want to mix and match. So now I've changed to percent. So that shows me um, what kind, what percentage of each type of animal. And you can also see, you can you can tell it to, to change where you put the label. Best fit Excel puts it where it thinks you want it. But you can see you could kind of play around with that. And that's your basic pie chart. And this can also be copied and pasted. Make sure you click on the white area somewhere, right click, and we're going to do a copy and send that over to Microsoft Word. There's my frequency table from before. And I'm going to click somewhere and I'm going to paste it in there.